Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. So, hey, Dave, where you been? I have been away. I've been away to Cologne in Germany to the Fantastic Minds Summit. Oh, which was it, good? it? Do you know what? It was really good. Um, organised by the guys at Paralabs. If you haven't heard of Paralabs before, they create some great mentalism tools. Um, Danny Archer uh, is a co-organiser as well. He's the guy that organises Mindvention nice. in Vegas. Uh, went out there with my good buddy Spellman, who was lecturing and performing. Um, really, really great weekend. Met some really great guys. Caught up with some old mates as well. Um, so, yeah, it was good. So, everyone out there, thank you so much for making myself and Mark so welcome um, at Mind Summit. Yeah, it was really good. Good news was I took a few bits out there with me. Um, yeah. Larry Locke sold out. Um, Assassin Wallet sold out. And the other thing which was quite exciting for me was we have got a new product coming out. Um, well, we've got quite a few new products coming out, but one of them specifically is a mind reading effect yeah. um, called Screen Test by a fantastic mentalist called Steve Dimmer. Um, I took the prototype of that out there. Yeah. And I kid you not, um, I fried everyone. I'm not surprised. I mean, I know I'm not the uh, biggest mentalist in the world in mentalism, uh, but I mean, what was it? Four times you got me in a row. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there like, <laughs> I can't understand, and I, I know methods, and you know, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't work it out. Anyway. It, it, it's just such a, it's such a great trick. And when Steve first sent me the um, the video, a, as a mentalist, there are similar routines out there. So you're looking for similar methods um, and the method is completely different. But that's all I'm going to say about it because I will perform oh. it on you okay. in a future vlog. But we're expecting the release date to be between the middle to the end of July. Right. Um, I will say you can use it in close-up, stand-up, walk-around, stage, parlour. Yeah. It will play anywhere. Um, it will work great as a standalone or part of a larger routine, yeah, like a confabulation or something, to give you that really nice sort of one ahead. Um, I'm very excited about it. I am genuinely. Yeah, it's a I great, am. Great product. I am. I mean, we had it uh, when we were filming uh, the other project we're going to talk about as well. When we were filming Paul Gordon, that's yeah. when I first showed it to you because you you had been on holiday. I showed it to Paul Gordon about four or five times in a row. Yeah. You know, and every single time showed it to Rush, showed it to a lot of people at the filming as well, and the reactions have, have been great. And a nice thing, because um, as we do with all the products that come in, because we're working on it, the presentation has literally flipped on its head now. Yeah. So it's a lot bigger than um, the original presentation that was sent to us so we're, we're finding different avenues to go yeah. with it so i'm really excited about it i know you will be too it's a it's an effect called screen test so make sure you keep watching the vlogs and keep your eye on our site for further details on that um yeah. and the other new project yeah paul gordon's the paul gordon <laughs> dvds wow is yeah i can say that <laughs> that is um i mean if you know paul's work you, you know what you're gonna expect and it it's just awesome. The the amount of magic that guy does with just a few cards is yeah is superb. And we had a live audience for the filming, and they they loved it, didn't they? Yeah, it was really good. I mean, I have known Paul for, I think it's coming up to twenty five years now, twenty to twenty five years, um, and we have over the past sort of ten or so years, we've always mentioned it's always been done in passing. When are you going to do a DVD with me or yeah, me yeah. say you know. Vice versa. Um, and we finally got it together, finally got the DVD filmed. The stuff on it is great. I mean, I was sitting, I've been a big fan of Paul's work for years. I still perform routines of his. Um, you know, one of my go to effects is always ECA estimation yes, yeah. because it is such a killer routine. Um, but when we were filming it, you sat in on the explanations. I was there, I was behind the cameras with, um, with Russ. But you know, I was just watching it going, 
I'm going to learn that one. I'm going to learn that one. I'm going to learn that one. And, and the thing is with Paul's stuff, it's all practical card magic. And it's not automatic. Some of them will have a slight in it, but not a difficult slight. So some might include an Elmsley, let's say. Yeah. But most of them, to be fair, are very, very easy and easily pick up a ball. Pick up. Pick up a ball. Pick up a ball. By, yeah, easy to learn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by a by a novice or someone you know getting into card magic that wants to study it. So, yeah, um, it's going to be a great set of DVDs. We're aiming to to release that around about August. Um, yeah, sort of mid to end of August. Would have been quicker, but our good friend Russ that's doing the editing is busy yeah. at the moment yeah. making uh, a star or helping make a star with uh, Jamie Raven on Britain's Got Talent. Indeed. So yeah. well, done, uh, well done to Jamie Raven for his performance on Britain's Got Talent. Well done to Russ. Well done to the whole team. And good luck for the final. So we hope you get through. You really do deserve it. Um, yeah, so that's what we've been up to. That's why we haven't been here and yeah. filming and everything I've else. People saying, "Where are the vlogs?" Yeah. I know. I've, I've been trying to keep people, you know, up to date with some low downs, you know, some new ideas <coughs> and stuff. But so hopefully you you've seen them. If not, we're going to drop one into to this. Yes. Um, but yeah, we're we're back. So we are back. Um, so we got a few things to speak to you about today. But as David did mention. Loosely low downs. One thing that um, we're trying to do now, and it, it doesn't happen with every product, but it's starting to happen with more and more products, mm -hmm. is when we play with a product, we usually come up with a different idea or a different handling. So in that scenario, what we'll do is we will film that handling for you guys. So if you purchase your product from Alakazam, you will get that handling free. And one of the latest products that you've done it with is Arthur, yeah. Is Arthur. That and credit card change as well. So yeah. uh, I think I picked up a credit card change years ago. I was probably in my teens. Yeah, great trip. Um, and I really picked it up. I thought, oh, do you know what? If you add this and that, it's more of a routine. So you get that routine as well with that. But Arthur, uh, oh, I absolutely love this. Yeah, It's got some great comments. And uh, the fact that you're using this, well, my routine uses Arthur, as a as a second part of it and it all yeah. builds together so i tell you what to do if we drop in this video now they can have a look at this uh, this is my presentation for arthur i get asked some random questions as a magician and a couple of them are can you travel through time and can you freeze time now no as a human i can't physically do that myself but i play with cards every single day and i've come up with something that i think you might find interesting to prove this, I have got a blue back card which I've signed on the face and of course a pack of reds. I'm going to take your card and place it about middle. Now before I do, I want you to get this image in your mind, okay? Because this is the image I'm going to try and travel back in time to right now. Watch, if I take your card, place it roughly in the middle. Remember that image? Just about there. Now the blue card is straight back in that image. Of course it is the signed nine of spades. So that is, you could say, traveling back in time. Now I'm gonna see if I can freeze time. Freeze time, watch. If I take these, I'm just gonna cascade these around. Just in a sort of bit of a circle and a mess here. Uh, I'm gonna take the nine and slide it in about middle, okay? Now I'm gonna freeze this image. Nothing else around it, everything else around it can move. It's just this image here of the cards. And it looks like this. Perfect. So if I've done this correctly, all I have to do is touch here. This should move as a unit. Everything else around it can move, but this will always move as a frozen unit. In fact, if I've done this correctly, I should be able to pick this up. Now anything you freeze, of course, you have to unfreeze, so bear with me. Perfect. That is my handling of Arthur, and if you like that, then you get it straight into your streaming video section of your account when you purchase Arthur from us here at Alakazam Magic.
Right, so that was the loosely low down for Arthur. Um, just to let you know that Dave is doing one of these loosely low downs um, quite regular now. You're, yeah. you're doing so. It, the whole idea for them is to show you a lot of tricks now are coming out with really flashy trailers, which is great. They look amazing, but sometimes you just want to see the trick, or um, you know, you'll come up with a different handling. Mm. And I must admit. When I first saw Arthur, I thought it was really, really clever. Um, I watched the routine and straight away I thought to myself, it's not something that I personally would right. do. It wouldn't suit my style at all. Right. Um, but when you sent me the link, I was in Germany when you sent me the link to your performance, I actually looked at it through brand new eyes, you know, mm. marks. Marks, <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, it is, that's the whole idea of, the lowdown because sometimes as magicians we watch something and you're so sort of taken in by what's going on that you're not thinking down the avenue of how could I yeah. use this it's it's just like can I use that as is because yes you see no. in this presentation uh, for example which is the, the sword in the stone kind of thing, which is a great presentation for the effect yeah uh, but may not suit people out there um, you know so for me, I, I just can't this back in time thing, and I thought, oh, this will go nice with that, and, and it links perfectly. And I will say, if you like the presentation, and you're a bit worried about that first move, the first uh, bit of magic, don't be worried. I, I teach you a very simple way of doing it as well, which looks just as effective. So, um, but so yeah. they, they get that. If they purchase Arthur from Alexander Magic, they'll yeah. get your routine yeah. where you teach it in full, um, as a streaming video straight into their account. The second they purchase it, it'll be in their account, they can watch it. So that, that's one of the other benefits of, of obviously purchasing from us. We want you to get the most out of your product. So if we come up with different ideas for anything, we will teach them as a free streaming video bolted on to the product purchase. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's Arthur. But keep your eye out for the loosely low downs because um, they are great. They really are because it shows you the effect Dave will, will explain the key points, what he thinks are, it, you know, makes the effect so good. Mm -hmm. um, and if Dave comes up with another routine for it, um, you know, he'll throw that in for free. Did you also film one for credit card change? You did, didn't you? Yeah, uh, yeah. A new routine. So once That's again, fair. yeah, check out credit card change, which is uh, another killer effect. A little visual. Yeah, so, and when you're doing them, one more question. There is a category on our website that says loosely low down. So are you still putting them in there? Uh, I will be. Right. So if you wanted to watch all the loosely low downs, not only are they attached to the product, but there should be a category on our website that says loosely low downs. So they'll all just be there as a collection anyway. So there, you can there's sit there about and watch 30 them. in there already. So, Brilliant. Um, yeah, there's a good selection there. Good stuff. So that is Arthur and the loosely low down starring Dave Loosely over here. Thank you. Right. Schmetzers. Leo Schmetzers, our very mad friend from Holland. He's um, coming over soon, isn't he? He is coming over. <clears throat> um, my good friend Leo Schmetzers, who's slightly crazy from Holland, is coming over in a couple of weeks' time. He wanted to do a UK lecture tour. So what we've done is we've organised a mini one for him. So he's over for a week. In that week, he's performing at the Magic Circle and a few other clubs. Um, maybe next week we'll actually name the clubs, but check with your local club, see if Leo's going to be there. I'm going to be going with him, uh, and I'll be doing a, a bit of a lecture stroke dealer them as well, but realistically the guy you want to see is Leo, because he's yeah. fantastic, and you can see me every week on here anyway, so, um, but I'm going along um, as an interpreter, or, well, actually, <laughs> saying that... <laughs> He sort of... Um, he'll interpret your yeah, slang. <laughs> because I'm from South London, he'll be doing the interpretation. <laughs> so, um, but it's, uh, he's great. If you've ever seen Leo at our stand at Blackpool or ever seen him on a previous vlog or something, yeah. he, it, the, the guy is just a, a fully charged dynamo of power <laughs> yeah. that I'm going to take that's along to the lecture turn the button, sit back and watch <laughs> watch the havoc ensue. Um, he has so much energy, doesn't he? But he he's, does. He's the tricks that he produces are really high quality as well. You'll know if you've got his free shell game, uh, the bell cups. Uh, I love his free shell with the little hats. Yeah, the workers free the shell workers game. workers free shell, that's great. Uh, and we've got two others here. Yeah, these are two of his newest 
uh, releases. Now we have an effect called appearing and the whiteboard Monty. I'll give you a bit of background on these because Leo, not only does he create magic, but he is one of Holland's busiest working magicians. Mm -hmm. I mean, we Skype almost on a weekly basis, maybe even twice a week. Um, and he's always got two gigs, three gigs on this week, four gigs on, five gigs on. It's like constant. He does not yeah. stop. Um, so everything that Leo releases is stuff that he works and he gets a great reaction. Now, this is, um, this is a discussion that we have a lot of the time. And people buy magic for two reasons. One, because it fools them and they want to know the secret. Or two, if they're workers. Yeah. You know, um, the workers out there will look at a trick, go, I know exactly what's going on, but I could use that. No, yeah, exactly. You know, not just buying it because they're fooled. Uh -huh. And Leo's stuff, not only is it very fooling, but it, it's workers material. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, the free disc Monty, or the whiteboard Monty, as he's now called it, he, when I first met him, he showed me his first version of this. Yeah. And it's based on an old con game. It's like Find the Lady. Yeah. It is a proper, genuine con game um, where you would find the marked Some of that three coasters, wasn't it? Yeah, it used to be done with... Yeah, yeah, that's right. And um, Leo had a version that he was going to release a few years ago. For whatever reason, it didn't get released. Um, but then he's been working on it. He's come up with Whiteboard Monty, which is... Great. Yeah, I mean Leo is um, also behind the the paddle turbo, the stick, turbo stick that Richard Sanders put out. Yeah, yeah. which is a great effect, and um, you know I'm sure that could lead into this somehow. Yeah, definitely. Um, but the the this he, he gives you ideas uh, of routines. But what's so cool about this is that you can pick this up and start putting any presentation you like to it. So yeah. it's great if you're doing a trade show because you can work the company name into it. Uh, and, and, you know, it's a fun routine and yeah. there's nice moments of magic in there as well. So. Yeah, yeah, it's very deceptive. But what we're going to do is we're going to pop the trailer on for you the right crazy now. Crazy trailer. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lewis Masters. After the turbo stick, I want to introduce to you the three disc monitor. Three discs on which you can write on both sides. A trick with multiple ideas. So, feel of something wrong on the other side. This one, nothing wrong. Okay. So, Sana, put your name on the front of the disc. So now, you only have to tell me where your disc is. This one is your disc. Tell me where it is. This one, this one tells me that the monkey is in here. Yeah? So this is some. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? So let's try again. So, here. So tell me where we are. That one? No. It's here. Go this one and this one. Tell me the monkey is in here. Easy rubber grip, and you give a little shake. Like I have some, some, some. You can do it with crosses. Any company name. Use playing cards. Spectators' names. Product names. Hi, my name is Leo Smasters. Let's do a trick with a wedding ring. The appear ring. Okay, you put them back anywhere that you want. So I take my wedding ring and then let's take a picture.
Right, so that was the trailer for Appearing, which is another great effect by Leo Schmetzers. Um, Leo told me about this quite a while ago. He's been working on it for, for a good year or so, yeah. um, at least. Um, but the first time I actually saw it was when you lectured at the circle because Leo flew over from Holland to, to see the lecture and he performed this to a few of the guys at yeah. the Magic Circle. We were in the museum and there was a, a few guys there and he went straight into the performance. And the reaction was, was great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I spoke to Leo a few times about this before the release and um, originally I think it started just as the reveal on the ring. Yeah, um, yeah. And then, we got talking and thought how cool it was using the phone, bringing the phone into play. And what's really nice about this is once they've taken a photo of it, if you get it so that it's about here, say the ring's here, take the photo about here. At first glance, you can just look at the ring as there's nothing, you know, nothing special about it. But the really nice moment is when you ask them to zoom into the ring and then it's almost like it, it kind of morphs, you can yeah. see it. It's a really nice moment of magic. Um, very practical, it's strong, uh, and it's it's quite, you know, it's easy to do. It's not yeah. self-working, but it is easy to do. Yeah, it's really nice. And if you if you don't like the idea of the picture, you can do it more, literally just take your ring off, um, and that would be almost self-working. You could take your ring off, show it, Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then just put it in their hand, and when they look at it, the name of the card they thought of or selected is now That's engraved great. on there. Um, and Leo has designed this, so it's a, I think it's a Three of Clubs reveal, is it? Oh, okay. So um, it works perfectly with Limitless, and that's how he performs it a lot of the time. And that force as well, using Limitless, it just seems such a fair situation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it links really nicely with it. Yeah. So yeah, that is the appearing. And while we're talking about that, oh. just to let you know, the Limitless Queen of Hearts edition oh, yes. is now in stock. We've got the full trick and we have the reload pack. So if you've purchased Limitless before, you can just go ahead and buy your reload pack and you've got an additional false card. Um, or alternatively, if you haven't purchased Limitless, you've really got to go and read the reviews on our website. Yeah, the Queen of Hearts as well is, is so good. Yeah. It's almost like it pops out, but it's still... It's subtle. Subtle, yeah. But it's, but in your mind, it's just there. You yeah, cannot you mistake it. it. Yeah. yeah, it's brilliant. So yeah, that is the appearing and limitless Queen of Hearts. So that was appearing. I'm sure you'd agree. A great effect. Yeah. Uh, I will just say I will apologise. Uh, this week we are dropping trailers in more than we normally do. Obviously, we've been travelling around, been here, there, and everywhere. So uh, we haven't had time to sit down and learn the effects. But we wanted to bring you a vlog. But we will be back next week physically showing you products. Yes. Um, so, but the Switchcraft is the last one we're gonna take a look at. Yeah, by Greg Wilson and Carl Hines, both very, very good magicians. Greg, I, I've always been a, a big fan of Greg's stuff. Yeah. Um, I haven't actually seen this myself yet. No, um, I but, took a look at it yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I haven't physically made one up, but uh, I think I will, because it's some of the stuff you can do with this is really, really clever. So it's based on, you can use it in any currency, so we, we won't have a problem doing it in British. No, sterling. no problem at all. Um, and I will say, um, yes. if you're making up a, let's say a bill switch, for example, um, it's gonna cost you a little bit of money. Yeah. Right. The great thing about this is it's probably the lowest amount you would ever have to pay on a bill switch. Right, okay. Um, if, for example, in, in the States, if, if you were gonna, do it here, it would cost you about four dollars. Yeah. So over here it's a bit more um, because of our currency, but it, it's not much. And once you've made it up, you've made it up. Yeah. And the way that you obviously make it up allows you, if you need the notes, to to use them. Yeah. So um, it is really, really clever. It's really great. So shall we take a quick look at the trailer? Yeah. Let's have a look. This is one of my favorite effects on the DVD. A borrowed bill goes between these bills, it vanishes, and I'm sitting on it. To repeat it, they're sitting on it. All I can say is, 
watch the reaction. Did you see where it went? No, I I'll didn't. give you a hint. I gave it to your friend. Get up, are you sitting know. on it? Sitting on it? Are that would be crazy. <laughs> Come on. You're on it. Oh my <laughs> You did not! I gave the money back to you. Stand up. <laughs> Come on! Come on! This one is a mind blower from a borrowed bill. You can tell if the serial number is high or low, if they're telling the truth, if they're lying. You add up a series of numbers towards the end, you can tell them the total, a mind blower. Did I mention mind blower? Every dollar bill has got a different serial number. You'll see they all yep. start and end differently all the way through that. One to nine, I'm gonna try to guess the number based on your, your facial expression. Okay. Keep a straight face, okay? okay. Is it eight? Yeah. yeah, it's eight, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a very simple proposition. They choose the bill with the mark and they win. It could be fives, tens, twenties, fifties, I happen to use hundreds. Again, they choose the one with the mark and they win. As you can see, the one they choose doesn't win. That's the one with the mark. In fact, I was so confident, I also marked that one, that one, and that one. It's like bank night without the envelope. Get the one with the mark on it, you get the key. Sound fair? Yeah. By the way, I was so confident you take the wrong one, I marked that one and that one. Oh my gosh. Oh, and by the way, that Here, one. Here, man. You've been holding on to this the entire <gasps> time. <laughs> And hey, wrong. guys, this is real. <laughs> this is real. This is not scripted. This is not fake or acted. This is real life. So that was Switchcraft. That's in stock now. Yeah, and there are endless possibilities with this. And I think mentalists and close-up workers will all come up with uh, a routine, at least, of your own that you can do with this. Um, it really does open itself up. So, uh, yeah, a high recommendation on that. It's very, very clever. Very good. Right, so that's it for this week. Thank you so much for joining us on the Alexander video blog. We will be back next week and hopefully we'll be demonstrating some stuff live. Maybe a couple of new bits Ooh, as well. Nice, mm. that would be cool. Um, again, thank you so much, guys. Uh, apologies you've been away for a couple of weeks. These things do happen, but we try and keep these as um, current regular. and regular as we can. Please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe just about here uh, for our YouTube channel. And obviously follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Anything else you'd like to add? Actually, this week there isn't. There isn't? <laughs> no. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay, fantastic. In which case, guys, thank you so much. And we will see you next week on the Alakazam video blog.